will start the bombarding of Sardis, baby. Absolutely. And they don't have any crossbowmen units, so it's only the city that can bombard us, so that's okay. Unit promotion. Uh, Briere crossbowmen units. Um, we'll give you a rough terrain. There you go. Uh, city of Souza can attack. Oh, we got a barbarian. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, barbarian. I don't have any time for you, man. Come on. Uh, what is he? He's a caravel. He can do some damage. I'll use this caravel that's healing in... In uh, Sousa to help bombard this guy right there. There you go. And I'll get this guy as well. Come on up here. Even though he's healing, we'll just use him right now. We don't need this caravel to do anything shitty to us right now. All right, he could go in and maybe take out our uh, Shane Doan swordsman or uh, musketman. So there you go. That's some, that barbarian taken care of. There's more barbarians up here, but that's okay. We'll wait for them with our big army. Crossbowman unit, you stay right there. Quick back. Crossbowman, you stay right there, stay right there. King Musketman. Alright, so let's get all of these naval units in within range. Alright, so you right there. You right there. You right there. Perfect. Caravel, right there. Uh, other Caravel, right there. Alright, so let's see how much damage this does. Now we're going to switch over here. Go back to production on the caravel over here. So this caravel, I mean this uh, frigate, sorry, is going to be done in two turns, which is perfect. All right, we're still happy, so that's good. Got to save some more money for our next courthouse, so that's that's perfect though. That'll come along. So now we'll start the bombarding with all of our ships on Sardis. I remember Sardis is not going to be as strong as Sousa or uh, Percival Lee, right? So that's good. Hopefully the frigates can take off two per turn here. Come on, boys. Hey, a three per turn. I like it. So yeah, this is definitely going to fall a lot quicker than the other one. Definitely. Alright, there you go. There you go. We'll land one guy here. And the other guy we can attack from the water. So, stay back for now still. Yeah, stay back for now. We'll move these guys in when we know we can. They're within range, so they can move in when they're ready. Worker unit, you stay there. Uh, Cam Needy Knights, you heal up. Uh, King Musketman, you stay right there. Alright, perfect. Let's check out our flanks. Ooh, oh no, they're Persians. Yeah, they're Persian caravels. Don't worry about that. They're Persian caravels. Uh, they're probably just exploring the world, so we don't have to worry about them. Don't worry about it. We're fine. All right, everything down here looks fine. Yep. All right, next turn. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's good here. Uh, I think we're going. We're pretty. We're in pretty good shape here. All right, they're bombarding our caravels, which is better than than uh, them bombarding our frigates. So that's always good. Uh, caravels. Holy shit! What are all these upgrades? Uh, supply may heal damage outside of friendly uh, territory. Yeah, okay. Indirect fire. Range attacks can be performed over obstacles. Alright, that's not bad. Mobility, visibility, bombardment 3. Yeah, let's do bombardment 3. There you go. Alright, bombard Sardis, baby. Absolutely, right now. Ooh, look, they moved their pikemen on this hill to uh, prevent us landing on the hill. Because that would have been the best spot to attack from. That's alright, we can always just attack from the uh, the land, uh, the water like we did before. We'll just take them completely down kind of thing. There you go. There you go. Just blasting the hell out of it. Oh yeah, it's already in the red. So next turn we can just attack from the water. City of Sousa can attack a nearby enemy. The workers? Ah, we don't need to attack them. We can steal them. Uh, Quickbeck. Yeah, there you go. City of Quickbeck can attack somebody he was saying. Yeah, they're bringing an army again to, to, uh, to Quickbeck, which is fine by us. They're, I mean, they have cannons, but they're already getting attacked. They don't have everyone in position at the same time kind of, thi uh, kind of thing. Use the crossbowman units. There you go. Use this crossbowman unit. There you go. Take them out, baby, right now. There you go. So we took out their uh, cannon units. So now they really don't stand a chance with a long swordsman and a... Uh, a legion or whatever you call a swordsman, a basic swordsman. Um, city, a city of Tenochtitlan is starving. Um, they may go down this turn. If I go back onto food, uh, it's going to take two more turns for the frigate to be done. That's fine because he's not going to be able to help us out with Sardis anyway. Yeah, we have to take our time with here. One more turn and then we can focus on it. All right, so that's fine over there. Let's check out the... All right, so they're bringing their caravels up here. I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't really care. What are they going to do? Stop us from growing or whatever? Um, blockading our waters? I'm fine with that. Get out of here, you stupid caravels. Come on, crossbowman units. Boom. Oh, he's still alive. All right, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Uh, India has replaced uh, Arabia as the ally. Yep, yeah, that's fine. 
Enemy has been spotted in our territory. We already took him out. Worker, you stay right there. Uh, Caravel units, you're staying in the city to heal up still. You're staying right there to heal up still. Musketmen, you're staying there. Long swordsman, you're staying there. All right. Yeah, that's all looking good. That is all looking good. That is actually, yeah. I wonder if I should. No, we'll deal with that after. We'll deal with that after. Yeah, we'll figure out how we're going to attack that. So let's do another turn here. And I think Sardis is going to fall in this turn, boys. That's right. He's attacking us again. He's attacking the same caravel. But that's okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, unit promotion. So this frigate, I can upgrade land bombardment. There you go. Dublin can fire on an enemy. So let's get rid of these damn caravels up here. That's fine. Don't worry about them. They can't do... Ah, come on. Let me grab the uh, crossbowman unit. Take out this other caravel right now. They just want to die. They just want to die. I'm fine with that. Unit needs orders. Which one? All right, so this caravel... All right, there's our timer. Uh, this caravel is kind of hurt, so I'm not going to attack with him just yet. I want to see... Because uh, the only thing that can hurt him is the city. So if I can't take the city this turn, I'm going to back him off. If I know I can get the... the uh, Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to take it that turn. Why did they... It only did one damage there. Come on, there you go. And that did four damage. All right. I think I will be able to take Sardis this turn. Yeah, I think I can. If I go in here... Oh, yeah, I can take Sardis. So Sardis is ours, boys. I'm moving our long swordsman, Shane Doe. He gets the uh, privilege of going in, taking out... Yeah, baby, Sardis. Raise the city. So we uh, raise Sardis for one turn. All right, that's looking good. Um, we can use these guys now to mop up everyone else. We can use the musket men to land here to steal this worker. So we stole a worker from them. We can take this caravel to steal this boat worker. Alright, there you go. And we can bombard these pikemen while they're here. Why not? Because no one can hurt this caravel now because we took the city of Sardis. Alright. So there you go, boys. There's another stage done. We've taken out Sardis as a part of our island hopping campaign. All right, and now look, we have this whole flank now. All right, so now we can definitely get our, uh, move our units around the water down there and not have to worry about anything. The Arabians backed off their army from Quickbeck, so that's good. Um, they have a few workers up here. You know what, I'm going to go steal a worker. I am going to go steal one of their workers. Hang on a sec, if I move out here. Oh, uh, yeah, they don't have anyone. Uh, if I go here, Baghdad can attack me. If I go here, no one can attack me. Yeah, uh, steal a worker. So I stole one of their workers. I can mess with their uh, infrastructure, basically. This knight's done. So I'm going to bring this knight unit up, just in case this knight unit gets into trouble. All right, there we go. I'm actually going to bring up Rommel as well. Oh, that was a cannon. Whatever, we'll bring up the cannon. Yeah, we can start like uh, we can start to form up the wall a lot closer kind of thing. Why not? Uh, get over there, and we'll bring Rommel up right up here. And the long swordsman, you can come up on the road so you can move a lot quicker. All right, there you go. We're not moving in. Remember, I just, we went to go steal that worker, but we're going to give support to our knight unit, all right? So our western flank is looking fine. Only a Persian uh, caravel, we're fine. We're unhappy again because we have another, uh, we got another city. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to buy a courthouse in a few turns, all right? Not right now, in a few turns. Um, we're going to raise... We're going to raise Sardis for one turn because they got to go down to one population, all right? We have a, another frigate coming here in one turn, all right? So we're going to have this frigate done in another turn, perfect. I may have to start deleting some caravels just because we have so much money now. We have to start making some more money. But you know what? We're doing good. We're doing good because once Persia goes, we're going to own all of this land down here. Alright, and then once we own all of down here, we sweep up to take out Arabia. And once we have Arabia, I mean, we only have to worry really about Africa, which is in shambles it looks like. I mean, you got Egypt and uh, the Ottomans who are fighting each other. You have uh, two city-states in there. You have a Persian city down here. You have one of my cities down here. So there's not like there's a, super, uh, a superpower in Africa. But we got to worry about South America and North America. Alright, uh, looks like I, I don't have them... I don't have it explored yet, but it looks like England and Greece are fighting at each other. But if one of them were to take over and own all of North America, that's a that's a big enough landmass they'd be able to get a lot going against us. So we need to hurry up, take out Persia as fast as we can. All right, so we're going to have another frigate soon, so taking out Gordium and Bactra will be a lot quicker. And Ep Ep uh, Ekbectana, or Ek Ekbatana, yeah, that's how you pronounce it. All right, and once we take out those three other cities... 
boom, pass a Grady or whatever you call it. We go after that, and we're done there. We don't need to wipe them out. I don't need to focus on going after this city down here. The Persians, that can be their capital, all right? I'm fine with that. It's about taking out this uh, part and owning this whole area so that we don't have to waste units in the middle. And we're basically going to have so much land that we can make so much money, so much science, all right? Once we get all the land, we need to focus on making our infrastructure better with our road systems, getting workers out there, growing our population, basically. But for right now, we're still in a war effort, and it's still going to be a long time. The Great Superbian War of 1816, it may go 100 years, all right? We still have to take out these four cities and then move on to Arabia. But after that, uh, no, I think it's smooth sailing, boys, so Warlord Superbius, all right? Susa and Sardis has fallen, boys, and we're making our way up to Pasagaradi or whatever you freaking call it. Ha, 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 ha.